Hey, what's up guys? Kalem or Kalem's Fish Tanks and I am back after a long, I guess, disappearance. I didn't really explain where I was going. School kind of took over my life. So right now we are looking at the 7.5 gallon aquarium. And as you can see, it has been rescaped. It looks completely different. So let's get in a bit closer and take a look at it. So for hardscape, I went for Malaysian driftwood. And as you can see, I have about three or four pieces in here. At the top of them, I have a bit of Christmas moss. And in between, I have a mixture of needle leaf java fern and trident java fern. And as well as down here in the bottom corner, we have some Buse Philandra Aurora and Buse Philandra Mini Blue interwoven in the driftwood. So throughout the foreground, we have a combination of different um, carpeting plants. So as you can see right there, we have some dwarf hair grass beside this crystal red shrimp, shrimp as well as Marsilia hirsuta. And then beside that, we have it transition into Cryptocorn parva. On the other side of the aquarium, we have the same combination of foreground plants of dwarf hair grass and Marsilia hirsuta. And then we have a transition into a midground of microsword. I don't know how to pronounce the scientific name, but it starts with an L, uh, Brasiliensis. Over back on the side, you can see Anubius nana petite along the driftwood here. There's quite a bit of it. My goal here is to kind of fill up the whole thing with it eventually and have really uh, nice hard hardscape with lots of epiphytic plants attached to it. Over here to the side, you can see we have some crypts. Uh, it's a mixture of Wenti Tropica and Huteroi and one other I'm unsure of the name. And then in the background, we have Limnophilia sessiflora, which is a really nice, easy to grow green plant, which should grow rather fast and get to the top of the surface and provide a really nice background for this aquarium. Over on this other side of the tank, we also have some Cryptocorn, uh, same kinds, Wenti Tropica and uh, Huteroi. And then over here we have, I think it's an Ocelot sword. It's very small, so hopefully that'll fill up this back area and create a very nice background and add a bit of red to this tank, which is mostly green. So for livestock in here, we have eight little ember tetras, a nice little school of these guys. They are pretty clear right now because I just recently uh, turned back on the light. It's pretty late right now. So they were asleep and they've just been woken up. So I don't think they're very happy. So there is eight of these little guys in here. A nice little school. I did have five and I just added three new ones. So uh, yeah, that's it for stocking fish wise. I also have some red cherry shrimp as well as crystal red shrimp in here as a bit of a cleanup crew to help uh, lower algae and as well as just add some nice red to the tank because they are amazing looking shrimp. So for now I plan to keep this tank low tech. I'm using a Shihiros A311 so it's a fairly um, white light so I shouldn't be able to get too too much color out of my plants. It is pretty strong so I should um, in theory be able to grow dwarf hair grass. I'm hoping I will or else I don't know what I'm going to switch instead but I'm really hoping that'll grow um, as well as the pygmy chainsaw because that is a plant I have never tried before. So I'm planning to keep it low tech, low maintenance and I plan to add a, add a lot more uh, epiphytes to this tank so Right in this little area here, there is a nice little crack. Right in here, it's a nice little crack. So maybe a Buse Flandre wavy green or something would look well there. And as well as I want more um, along this piece of wood, as well as maybe over here. I wanna try growing moss again. It's something I really wanna have look nice in an aquarium, but I've just never had a lot of success with. So on the surfaces, of the two larger pieces of driftwood. I have a little bit of moss on top. 
I've learned a couple lessons and I should um, eventually be doing a video on some tips I could give you guys with moss in my experience keeping it and how to prevent your tank from becoming a mess because of moss because it is um, pretty invasive in a planted aquarium. So for equipment other than the light on here, we are running an Eheim Skim 350. I'll put a link right up in the top corner. We can go check out a review I did on that as well as the Eheim Classic 250 canister filter. It is a bit overkill, but uh, I like to over filter my aquariums. I like lots of flow in them. I find it helps a lot with algae and getting great plant growth. So guys, that about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the future, I'll try to find some more time uh, to set aside to record videos for you guys. I should be a little bit more used to it now, so I should be able to uh, budget my time a bit better to get some videos out to you guys. But anyways guys, this was Kalem's Fish Tanks. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.